the sheets. <laughs> it's a pretty big job. I did ask him to cut it for me, which would have been awesome, but... Apparently they were understaffed. They were too busy, apparently, but whatever. All good. We've got a circular saw, so we'll cut them down using that. Mm -hmm. I've already done one sheet, and then I went to put it on, and obviously I welded along here. And then when I put the sheet up against there, there was a big gap going from here to here, and I didn't like it. Mm. So I grinded it back. Got your safety things on today? Hey! <laughs> Give me one more second before it's out. Oh, the old twisty the, the, in the, the non trick. Sun, the sun, when you cut it, it turns itself off. Ooh, spot on. <laughs> Fucking hope so. $200 down the drain. So, we've managed to get all the sheets cut and fitting in the right places. <laughs> one at the front, the two on the top, and the one in the back. Obviously this one took a little bit more time to get it nice and snug, but we got there. So now, I'm just working out the middle of all of our cross beams, and then I'm going to mark it and then work out how many rivets I want and then I'll start drilling all the holes.
Oh yes, and we picked up a water tank last week. We went and grabbed it. Yeah. Hundred litre plastic tank from Dun and Watson. So they're Australian made. Yeah. Everything like that. Pretty exy part, but you know it's the good. Yeah, it'll be it'll be worth it. Yeah. You know, they got a thick wall on them and stuff like that, so you're not going to have any worries with them popping or getting damaged by something that might flick up under the car. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get that fitted as well. And Robbie finally got his visor after a two month wait. Yeah, yeah, for the front windscreen. So that was that was exciting. That rocked up. But we can't put it on yet till it gets painted. Yeah, we're gonna so. get it colour matched to the car, so yeah. that'll look good. So we've managed to move the tray upside down so we can mount the water tank onto it. I was hoping that the holes were going to somewhat line up with our cross runners and I was just going to put a nut cert in there and then bolt them up but nothing ever is that easy. So I've got some 10 mil plate, flat plate, so I'm going to put them in there, weld them on and then drill and tap through here and I'll put some Loctite on each one.
so I'm pretty sure next week the guards are rocking up so fingers crossed by next weekend it'll be on the ute fingers crossed hopefully yeah it's been a long couple of weekends and yeah. stuff smashing it out but we're pretty happy with it, I reckon. Yeah, it looks unreal. Yeah, that's just a little stuff. Yep. Little stuff to go now. Like, we put the tail lights on this afternoon, but wiring those up, um, plumbing up the water tank, all that sort of thing. Working out where I'm gonna run the, um, the sub tank filler all that sort of thing but once we get it on there i'll be able to do that but yeah pumped <laughs>